Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is uh, Chip Walters here and we're going to talk in this video uh, really about creating low poly models for Unity using both NURBS and SketchUp to do that. Before I get started, I need to talk about a concept that not many people really understand that well and that is smoothing, smoothing of models. So in a NURBS modeler, smoothing is never an issue because you have exact data at every single point uh, of the model and let me explain that a little bit I'm gonna shut down these two here and I'm gonna just uh, go directly into this image and uh, I'm gonna zoom to this corner so let's assume that this is a polygon model if it if it is a polygon model then that means it's got a normal pointing out directly from the middle of each face so we have six faces on this model we have and this normal is uh, there's no normal here this is interpolated all along this so at this point right here we have this normal coming out and at this point we have a normal and so that means that when you uh, view this uh, you're going to get perfectly flat faces on every side right so now let's uh, let's let's turn these back on okay let's let's fill up this model and now let's look at this so let's take a look at this this green one and uh, and uh, now I'm going to move this down down the corner again so now if I look at this uh, I'm going to have these are coming out straight they get to this point and they're still coming out straight all these these normals the normals are used to calculate shading and the same thing here this is going every single point on the service has a normal that's looking like this because it's a nerves object we have infinite number of normals here not infinite but uh, and then these are all radiating out perpendicular to their actual surface okay and so because of that we get <clears throat> on the flat sides we get very flat planes and on the smooth sides we get a very smooth side so that's important to understand because we're going to show how that introduces some shading artifacts here in just a second let's turn back on all let's select all and now i'm going to export and i'm going to call that this uh tau uh and it's an obj file so we'll call it tau obj save and what i want to do is i'm going to i'm going to really make these as coarse as possible and already you can start to see so I'm gonna hit this okay okay now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna from Moe I'm gonna export we're gonna export as uh, SketchUp and we'll go Tau again and save okay and again notice that we have a very coarse resolution it's not being triangulated yet, uh, but it will do that inside uh, when we export it into 3D code or import that into 3D code eventually. So you'll see that. So I'm going to go into here. Okay. So now, of course, 3D code won't import a SketchUp file. So let's look at both of these in SketchUp. So I'm going to first. I'm going to look at the imported file. Okay. And what you're going to see here is we've got a lot of what's called smoothing errors in here. This doesn't look uh, this has got a, it's darker here and lighter to this point right here uh, and this actually almost looks like a cube or a sphere I should say so let's take a look at what's going on here we have our smoothing normal coming out of the middle of this just like we did before out of the middle of the polygon okay but because this pop this surface is now considered a smooth surface uh, let's put the okay so here's a here's a here's a normal here's normal out of the middle of these areas this is going to actually it's going to actually wrap all the way around it's not necessarily going to, these are not going to be parallel to this they're actually they're app, wrapping off so making making it look like the whole object is smooth so uh so you can see the whole object all the way is, this doesn't look flat it's dark here and light up here so the whole object gets smooth now when you import this into 3d code you're going to end up also with those same exact smoothing problems and you're going to get funny renders uh especially if you have a lot of triangles uh you're going to start to see triangles 
Let's see if it, let's see, look at the hidden area. You can start to see that we have triangles. Now, if, you, if I wanted to fix this here, I would just basically go in to this object and uh, use the eraser tool, and I'll use the control and the shift, and I'm going to basically crease. And when I add a crease in, in SketchUp, you know, what happens is it basically flattens that particular set of polygons. So it'll actually fix that smoothing problem that we were looking at. So I'm going in here and imagine a crease, and then I'll turn off this hidden. So now you can start to see now this, we did not crease it up here, and this is very, what is called a smoothing artifact. But these are absolutely fine along the side here. So, so let's look at uh, the export from from Moe 3D directly into here. So now you'll start to see that, wow, look at that. We have a very nice set of models, and the smoothing is all figured out perfectly for us. So it's already done. Now, that's one of the reasons why I like working in SketchUp is because it clearly shows you what faces are smooth and what faces aren't and that's really important to creating photoreal objects inside of unity and it's a real problem so uh, uh, to that end let's look at the next video where we're going to actually talk about how to get these objects into 3d coat and remap them if necessary for texturing thanks